everybody. Um, I've been like mad crazy busy but I wanted to at least get uh, a little video up. So um, in as promised it'll be a video uh, to deal with my Christmas present project which is making these travelers notebooks for my family members. Um, I'm working, I'll be working on um, building the actual book but I'm not going to be doing all the steps tonight to release a video and I hope to release a video uh, either tomorrow or Saturday. Um, so I'll, I'll just do a quickie on making these little um, inserts um, which I did like the first prototype here in mine uh, and I'm not super happy with how it turned out uh, so I've improved it a bit like me I have the pockets going sideways but it's really difficult to get things in and out and I could only get one out of uh, out of a sheet. So um, I decided to do them uh, the other way. And per uh, I'm, what I'm, I guess I'm getting ahead of myself. What I'm using is uh, just a sheet um, for like baseball cards. And I got a pack of them, like of eight sheets, I think for a dollar at the dollar store. Um, so instead of cutting out a section this way and having one side where everything can fall out and one side where I can't get anything because it's along the spine, um, I'm doing it so everything inserts from above and you get uh, one this size, which you get four full pockets and then these little pockets, which the little pockets can actually fit like a pen, which is kind of cool. And then you get a, a little a little one like this. Same deal. So, uh, they're pretty easy to make. Um, mine aren't perfect because I'm really terrible at making things even, but it's really super easy. So, I'm just going to use one of mine as a guide. So I, I start with it with the holes up top. Let's see. So the holes up top. And these ones are, are only one-sided, so like you can only put something in it one direction, but that's okay. So what I'm gonna do um, to fit my journal, like you you, you look to see mine's an odd size, it's not a standard size, I built it around this notebook. So you take your, your journal and see what would fit. So for me that's one full row and then part of one. So I just use one like totally imprecise. If you could, wanted to, you could draw a line and cut on a line, but I don't do that. <laughs> so I just use one as a guide. So now I got my two pieces, and then from here it's pretty easy. Um, you want to cut off the binder holes, but you want to make sure that you're on the outside of the kind of perforation that's holding everything together. So like that. So that's one. And then the other one, this is a mess now, you want to cut off this little strip that's extra. You cut that off. And then same thing, you cut off the extra little bit for the binder holes. So the next step, and this you could, if you wanted, get really precise and measure it out and draw a line. But all I do is I just fold it in half. <laughs> And I just kind of crease it lightly with my finger. I'll do that with the other one. I open the back up so I have a line. And then after that, you are going to want to take uh, washi tape or deco tape and tape down the middle. And this is where I kind of suck. I'm really not good at getting it centered. <laughs> I try, but I'm really not good at it. And if you're not fussy, like it doesn't matter 
too much. I flatten it down. Yeah, an awful lot. Good thing about this is it peels off really easily. Then you start, start again. That's a little bit better. So you, and then you tape one side and then you flip it over and tape around the other side. Push it down. Now I've done some where I like fold it over the, like cut it here and fold the flap over the edge and some I've just cut flush and I haven't noticed a difference either way. So now the next step is I like having my pockets on the inside. If you want you can have them on the outside but I find like this kind of makes like a dashboardy area. Like I could put post-its or stickers or whatnot. So I like folding it so that the pockets open from the inside. And I fold the piece of tape in half. So if I didn't get it straight, um, like these ends might not line up, which doesn't really matter because there's going to be stuff inside. So you're not going to see the ends matching up. So I just do that. If you have a bone folder, you can use it. This is just like a wooden clay sculpting tool. <laughs> Use a pen or a marker. Now, some people you might want to take a round hole punch to punch a little notch so that the elastic has somewhere to go. But I just take my scissors and I just cut, I don't know if you can see, a little diagonal fluke. Like that. So that there's a little notch for the elastic to rest without you know kind of crumpling it up. And there's the big one. And then for the little one you just repeat the whole process again. So washi tape, or in my case deco tape. I don't think I oh, actually I have one or two actual real washies. So the tape is just there to reinforce the spine to keep more or less the elastic band from keep the elastic band from uh, wreaking havoc on this plastic. So yeah, these are pretty handy. Um, they fit business cards really well. Um, I like putting. Sure, you've seen, or I have another little video about them, but I really like wrapping washi tape on business cards or old playing cards. Um, so these fit in here like super well. You can store photographs, business cards, all kinds of good stuff. So this one I'm just gonna cut evenly that out. So fold the tape in half. And then cut little notches. So you could put pens or little tiny things or little strips of decorative paper that you want to glue into your journal. But yeah, so like no time at all with one playing card protector sheet for a binder. You get yourself two little inserts. So I hope you like the tutorial. Um, I'll have to see how they hold up. I haven't like really put them to the test. I've only had it in my journal for, I don't know, maybe two or three days. And yeah, I don't like the other way that I did it. It's not very effective. So yeah, so one sheet, two little inserts. Whether you want a small one or a large one, or you have like a travel size or a pocket size, you know. So, thanks for watching. If you like, please thumbs up, comment, and subscribe, and I'll see you guys next time. Bye!